of the scoring, running for touchdowns of 28 and 2 yards, and throwing an 8-yard scoring toss to junior tight end Ed Bash. The Haldane Blue Devils beat Valhalla last week 27 to 24. It was the second time in two weeks that the two teams had faced each other, and both times the result was tight, exciting games. In the first game, Valhalla controlled the line of scrimmage and time of possession, effectively shorting the game, and lost in overtime 14 to 13. In the second game, with Haldane often stuffing nine defenders in the box to stop the run, Valhalla was enticed into a shootout. Haldane threw the ball 35 times in the first meeting, but due to senior split end Brendan Hackett not playing in the second game, Haldane threw the ball only nine times. The Blue Devils will rely on the strong left arm of senior quarterback Greg Anderson and the quick feet and sure hands of Hackett, the number one receiver in Class D and the fifth best overall in this section. Anderson comes into today's ball game 53 of 91. That's a 58% completion percentage for 993 yards. He has 10 touchdown passes with only three interceptions. He is averaging 141.86 yards per game. Hackett has 27 receptions, that's 4.5 a game, for 398 yards. That's 15 yards per reception. And ladies and gentlemen, this one is setting up to be a dandy. It's the 6-1 and one Haldane Blue Devils coming here into the hive in the semifinals of the Section 1 Class D playoffs. They're up against our very own Hastings Yellow Jackets, who are 5-1 and one on the season. Those standings are including the playoffs. The keys to today's game are as follows. Haldane has an unbelievable passing game. Uh, we mentioned Greg Anderson and Brendan Hackett, the two seniors. They're co-captains and they're the leaders of this team. If Haldane can uh, do what they've done all year and throw the ball to Hackett for big, long plays, they're going to win this game. What Hastings has to do He's come up big in the secondary. And this is really the first time all year they've played a team that can throw the ball. And uh, on offense, they have to establish their run game. They've done an excellent job of that all year long. And if they can keep to that, uh, hold the time of possession, they have a shot coming out on top. It's a sectional semifinals. The winner today will go to Mount Vernon to play under the lights in the section finals against the Tuckahoe Tigers or the Pauling Tigers. Tuckahoe heavily favored in that game and favored to win the section. Captain's meeting now at midfield. Senior tackle for the Hastings Yellow Jackets, Rich Allen, got injured in the game last week. And consequently, he won't be starting today. He's out for the rest of the season. Uh, broke a bone in his leg. He's still out there. Uh, you can see him midfield, one of the co-captains, along with Chris Screlly and Alvaro Santa Maria. 
The captains for Haldane, number 30, Joey Vergadamo. He's a senior tight end slash linebacker. And number 15, Brendan Hackett, the senior co-captain, uh, split end and cornerback. Also Greg Anderson, number 12, the senior quarterback. Not a cloud in the sky. 65 degree weather. Wind chill, wind chill factor brings it down to 35. An extremely windy day here. The two teams shake hands before the battle. The Haldane Blue Devils won the coin toss. Uh, they've elected to receive. So the Hastings Yellow Jackets will kick off to start the game. people here so far today. Uh, many more expected though for this very big game. Back to receive the uh, kickoff by the Yellow Jackets will be number 83. John Nastasi. Luis Guzman. Kicking off for the Yellow Jackets will be number 29, Paul Titus. He has a very big foot. He's booted the game, uh, the ball all year long, and before, prior to the game, he was kicking 40-yard field goals. Set to start off the semifinals here at the Hive, Reynolds Field. And here come the wins. Which is appropriate because here come the jacket win. Titus boots it. It's going to be fielded by Nastasi. Running left. Number 34 trying to get to the outside at the 25. And brought down by a few yellow jackets at the 25 yard line. Nice coverage there by the Jackets. The ball was fielded at the 15. And Guzman picked up 10 yards. As we mentioned earlier, Hal Dane, a very potent offense. They'll look to go the air a lot. They've thrown the ball 35 times in a game before. And here we go. Anderson on the first play, hands it ru off. Running right, number 33, cuts it back inside. A big hit, and the ball's loose, and it's going to be... The ball's still loose. Haldane ball. Haldane recovers. A huge hit by Josh Barron and Paul Titus, stepping up, absolutely crushed the fullback. The ball came loose, and it was just one of those balls that just keeps bobbling around. And the Jackets were unable to recover. Uh, 
Uh, this time it's Gibby Anderson taking himself, and he's brought down by Charles Delanoy. Kenny's playing about 10 yards off of him. Short of the first down. Kenny is playing about 10 yards off of him. So it'll be third and about a yard. This would be a nice way to start the game for the Jackets if they can stop Hal Dane this early. Definitely a running situation, but Hal Dane could go to the air. Anderson uh, handed it off up the middle, and he stopped for a loss on the play. Nothing doing. That was number 34, Luis Guzman on the carry. And it's fourth and very short. Kenny, you hear me, Kenny? It looks like Hal Dane is going to go for it. And this is really taking a risk. They're on their own 35-yard line. It's fourth and an inch. Let's see what they do. Both sidelines screaming for the teams. Anderson ready. Trying to draw the Jackets offside. A little pop pass complete to Hackett. Breaking tackles and picks up the first down. Kennedy, do you hear me? Kennedy. Kennedy, do you hear me, Kennedy? So Hackett picks up his first reception on the day, and it's a big one. He drops that ball. The Jackets are in great field position. But that's what Hal Dane can do to you. They have great hands, and uh, it was a quick pop, pop pass. There was nothing that the Jacket defense could do. It's a sweep. Running right, number 24, breaking a tackle, and dives forward, a pickup of nine on the play. That's Dylan Griffin. Hey, Joe, do you hear me, Joe? It'll be second and one from midfield. Anderson hands it off, running right. A huge hole for number 34. He's brought down a pickup of 14 on the play. That's Luis Guzman. That's the sixth play of the drive. For the Blue Devils, they have a first down at the Hastings 36. Split left Nastasi. Anderson hands it to 24, running right, breaking a tackle, and a fantastic play by Alvaro Santa Maria. Knocking down Griffin for a loss. There was a flag on the play. And it's going to be holding against Haldane. So he'll do the first down over. And it's a spot foul. So it goes all the way back to midfield. Effectively a loss of 13 yards on the play. First and about 23. Here's where the passing is key. Anderson to pass on the waggle. He's going to take it himself now. Running left, breaking a tackle, cuts it back inside, and he's brought down at the 33-yard line. So Anderson gets the 15 yards right back. Excellent job so far of mixing up the plays. And the Jackets having real tough time on defense so far. 
Man in motion. And the give is to the Haldane backhand is hit immediately by Alvaro Santa Maria. That was Luis Guzman, number 34. Got a yard on the carry. And it's going to be third down and eight. But it looks like fourth, uh, four down territory for the Blue Devils. Anderson hand, uh, takes it himself. He's rolling out. Fires. Complete. Just short of the first down to number 22. Matt Steltz. This will be the 11th play of the drive. Fourth and one, Anderson calls a timeout. Five fifty-five showing on the clock, and the Jackets are yet to touch the ball on offense. Hal Dane having an excellent, long, time-consuming drive. This is what Valhalla did to Hal Dane last week, and they're trying to give a taste of Valhalla's medicine to the Jackets. So far, Anderson has only thrown the ball twice, but he's two for two for a total of 13 yards. And Haldane has really mixed up the run. Guzman has three carries. Anderson's taking himself twice. Griffin has two carries. And number 33 has a carry as well. Ball is on the jacket, 26-yard line. It'll be fourth and an inch, or fourth and a yard, actually. If the Jackets don't stop them here, it looks like Haldane could go into the end zone. The Jackets defense having a really tough time stopping them. It's been a little weird because you have a uh, play that goes for zero yards, a play that goes for negative two yards, the play goes for 15 yards, the play goes for 12 yards. So here we go, fourth and one from the 27. Early first quarter. Fakes the pop pass, Santa Maria, and he tackles it for a huge loss, a huge play by Alvaro Santa Maria. That's how you fire out. He got off the ball. It's gonna be first down for the Jackets. A loss of 13 on the play. Shkreli gives it, uh, takes it himself on the waggle, breaks the tackle, running left, Shkreli's got some room, he's at the 20, the 10, the 5, end zone, Christopher Shkreli, a 50 yards camper, and it's 6th left in Yellow Jackets, a fantastic call by Coach Vaccaro, Shkreli fake the pants off the Blue Devils, it's 6 nothing, and I'm on the Haldane sideline, they are stunned, the crowd is silenced. Six nothing Yellow Jackets. Oh, 
Titus on for the extra point. The snap, the kick is up. And good. So seven nothing Yellow Jackets. What a turn of events here. So ladies and gentlemen, let me describe the situation you have here. The Haldane Blue Devils receive the kick. They go on a 12 play, 60 yard drive. Take up seven minutes off the clock. Hastings gets the ball, two plays, 61 yards, seven nothing Jackets. Paul Titus set to kick off. And the boot is a good one. An end over end kick fielded by 83. Running right up the middle, has some room, cuts right, tries to cut back inside, but Santa Maria, Santa Maria says no. As Al Santa Maria brought him down. Nastasi on the return. Got about 20 yards. Hands off to 24, running left, cuts inside, spinning his way forward, still on his feet. That, that's where number two And he gets coming. five on the play. The that was Dylan Griffin on the carry. His third on the Coach, day, picked up five yards. Underneath on Hackett's side while he takes that guy wide out, we're going to be in good shape. The Stasi split out to the left. And the give us to Guzman up the middle. Nothing doing there. Brought down by a number of Yellow Jackets. The linebackers are just one yard right behind that line of scrimmage there. Both sides. So it'll be third and five. As it seems as though the Yellow Jacket uh, defense is Finally, well, not finally, they're adjusting to Haldane immediately to their offense and uh, two big plays, and they could go three and out. This middle safety is back about 20 Man yards. in motion. Anderson uh, takes himself, right, rolling out to the right, and he's he dropped no by Paul Titus. A loss of 10 on the play. Maybe we ought to try shotgun sometime when he's out there. And the Jackets come up big here on defense early in the game. They're setting the tone. Fourth and 15, an obvious punt situation. And if all goes well, the Jackets will have the ball in excellent field position. Back to return, Brian Schnibby and Chris Screlly. Snap. An excellent snap and a long boot. It's an end over and kick. It gets by Screlly. It's going to roll all the way down to the jacket 32. A booming kick of 40 yards. And the jackets take over in their own territory.
That was one of the Jackets' longest plays from scrimmage, the 55-yard scamper by Chris Screlly. He had a huge hole up the middle, ran through it, upon one move, got a block that uh, broke him loose, and he was gone. Hal Dane has ran 15 plays. They have zero points. This is the Jackets' third play of the game. It's 7-0 Hastings. They give is to Ashman, and he pounds his way forward for seven yards. Penalties canceling each other out. I'm not sure exactly what that call was. But the end result is second four for the Jackets. Ashman, the lone man in the backfield. And Screlly takes himself on the keeper. Running right, breaks a tackle, and is brought down at the line of scrimmage. Uh, they were offsetting personal fouls. You got to move the marker back. Uh, it was a personal foul on the Haldane and a personal right, foul just, against right, the Jackets. The penalties offset one another. And here we are. Third down for Russack now in the backfield along with the bull, Sean Ashman. Ashman gets the carry, running up the middle, and he picks up the first down. A pickup of seven on the play. And the Jackets are moving the chains. Ball at their own 43. Zach Barnett split out left. He's a receiver with uh, Hastings' best hands. He gives it to Ashman, he jumps his way forward for a pickup of seven on the play again. So the offensive line of the Jackets really firing out and Hal Dane having a lot of trouble stopping them. So while they do miss Rich Allen, uh, the Jackets doing an excellent job of compensating for him not being there. The gives to Ashman again up the middle, and he counts for it for a first down, but there's a flag on the play. That was a pickup of five, but it's a holding call against the Yellow Jackets, and they're going to send him back. What's interesting in this game so far is Hal Dane is the team that's been explosive all year long, and they've gone for the 60-yard plays, and the Jackets are the one that have grinded out the long drives. It's been the antithesis of that so far. Let's see what happens here. Second and uh, 15. And Screlly takes it himself running left, breaks a tackle, and falls forward for three yards. Oh, it's going to be third down and ten. And it's a little past the Schnibby running left. Breaking tackles, he picks up the first down, but there's a flag on the play in the, the backfield. The 
think it's a holding against them. Who's that, Tommy or Hack? So the penalty is against the Jackets. And it's going to send them back to their own 37. It'll be third and 15. So they picked up the first down on third and 10, but the costly penalty sends them back. They ran the little bubble pass to Schnivy, and uh, the key of that play was some excellent blocking by uh, Ed Bash and Zach Barnett. Picked up 10 on the play. So Screlly, they run the pass again, but this time Schnivy's going to fire it. He's throwing it long to Barnett. Incomplete. So they pretended to run the same play. Schnivy uh, lofted the ball in the air. Now the Jackets will be forced to punt. Zach Barnett, the Yellow Jacket punter. Oh boy, this wind is gonna help. And the wind is not at his back. So we'll see what he does. He could try one of those uh, end over end kicks that rolls, but we'll see what he tries. Uh, and there's a flag on the play. There was movement on the line against the Yellow Jacket. It's a false start. As Haldane was moving on the line, barking, and it knocks the Jackets back another five yards. Back to receive the kick is Hackett and Guzman. A high snap. Nice job by Barnett getting it down. And he sends it to Guzman, who fields and spins forward uh, just short of Jacket territory. Kenny, what do you got going? The unofficial clock shows eight seconds to go in the first quarter. Kenny, what do you got going? Fans playing football uh, on the sidelines. Kenny, what do you got? Hackett split left. Okay. And gives to 24 running right, breaking a tackle, and stops and short of the Second first two. down by two yards. That was Dylan Griffin. First quarter comes to a close. And the Hastings Yellow Jackets are up seven to nothing. But there's a lot of game left. As the game has progressed, the weather has gotten much cooler. It's got to be down in the 40s. I'm sure, I'm sure these teams are fired up. They can only feel the heat.
the old Let's Go Haldane chant being utilized by the eight Haldane cheerleaders. What do you got going, Ken? So go watch for it. So Hal Dane at the jacket 45, second and two. And the give is to 34, breaks a tackle, and he's brought down close to the first down. We're not That's Guzman. Okay. That's Guzman's fifth carry. He only has 16 yards. What do you got going, Ken? The Jackets doing a much better job here in the second quarter, stopping the run. And a half yard. It's third and half a yard to go. Anderson takes it himself. He's got go some ahead, room. Anderson. Breaks the tackle. It. He's you got, got it, even more Anderson. room. Skelly on the chase. Oh, and wow. Anderson put on a move. He goes into the end zone. Anderson, I tell you, he dipped his shoulder. Oh, wait a second. He stepped out of bounds, and it's not a touchdown. But Anderson, he dipped the shoulder, and Screlly went flying by. Uh. Uh, Coach Vaccaro wants a timeout. They'll get it. Ball spotted on the 12-yard line. So a 33-yard run for Greg Anderson. That was one play the Jackets definitely were not expecting. They are probably looking uh, for Guzman or Dylan uh, Griffin up the middle. The Blue Devils ran the old waggle run that Hastings has used, utilized so much this year. And it broke free for 33 yards. The winner of this game goes on to Mount Vernon to play in the Section D, uh, Section 1 Class D Finals against the winner of the Tuckahoe Pauling game that is being played today. The loser will play the loser of that same game uh, at a neutral stadium in a consolation ball. So first and goal for the, from the nine for the Blue Devils. Hackett split way out to the right. He's isolated out there with Screlly. Maybe they'll try a little one-on-one -on -one action over there. Uh, it's a little pop pass to number 30. Breaks the tackle, dives forward. Touchdown, Alvin. That's Joey Vergadama. That was pulled on the line of scrimmage. That was uh, audible. A nine-yard touchdown reception for Vergadamo. And if you believe it or not, that was actually an audible called by Hackett on the line of scrimmage. They go for two. Hackett rolling out to his left. Fires, and Hackett can't make the reception. It's seven six Jackets. And that's where Paul Titus' uh, leg factors in. Haldane unable to convert on the extra uh, two-point conversion attempt. And the Jackets hold on to the lead. The placement kicker for Haldane actually got injured. 
And that's why Haldane was forced to go for the two-point conversion. They have no one to kick the extra point. And as we saw, they were unable to punch it in. Haldane's third possession. It was a four play, 45 yard drive that ended with six points. This will be the Jackets' third possession of the afternoon. Number 24, Dylan Griffin, is uh, filling in on the kickoffs for the injured injured placement kicker. Back to receive, as always, Christopher Screlly and Brian Schnibby. The boot is a low line drive. Screlly fields it, and he fakes a little lateral. Now runs up the middle and breaks a tackle as brought down at the jacket 30. Backfield. They use uh, Thunder and Thunder. Russack and Ashman. The bull takes it, breaking a tackle, and falls forward. Got about two on the play. He <laughs> actually got five on that one. as uh, a lot of extra effort put in there by Ashman. He was hit at the line of scrimmage and just pulled forward. Rosenstein in motion. Uh, Screlly takes it this time, running left, has some room, cuts it inside, and a big pickup. 16 yards on the play. So Chris Screlly, the senior captain, really looking good today on those runs. Had uh, Ran the waggle run and picked up 16. That's his fourth carry. He's got 74 yards already. Ashman now hit hard after three yards. Jackets now starting to move into the Blue Devil territory at their 46. Screlly takes it this time, cuts it back inside, hops over a man, and he picks up four. And Screlly went down on the play by hops back up. He bunny hopped over a man. Oh, he's kind of limping. He's limping, Coach. One more carry, we're going to carry this kid out. And uh, whistles blow before the play. It's probably going to be a false start against the Jackets. Screlly appears to be limping a little bit after that play. Probably just banged up his leg a little. Oh, and you know what? Actually, it, I think it's going to be an encroachment call against the Blue Devils. And that gives the Jackets an automatic first down. 
So Jackets have the ball at the half. Jackets have the ball at the 35-yard line. It was uh, going to be third and three, but the five yards gives the Jackets the first down. Rossack and Ashman in the backfield. Ashman taking it, has a hole, bust through it for five yards. Now they're down to the Haldane 30, second and five to go. Jackets have moved 40 yards in only five plays this drive. Scully hands it off to Ashman. And he picks up three on the play. It'll be third and short. Third and about three yards to go. Deep in Haldane territory. Josh Barron hops in as uh, Sean Ashman comes out. Now they run it with Barron and Russack in the backfield. The give is to Russack. A pound his way forward. That's his first carry on the day. He's going to be close to a first down. And first down, Jackets. So Russack gets his first carry of the day, and he picks up the first down. A nice hard run there by Russack. Rob, of course, was injured earlier in the year in the second game of the year against uh, Takahoe. Missed a few weeks and is extremely pumped. He came back last week, did an excellent job, and here he's already making an impact, getting a big first down. They run the jet sweep to Josh Barron, cuts it back inside, and he picks up about three on the play. That's Josh Barron's first carry of the day as well. I think they've been pounding the ball to Ashman. They wanted to give him a little bit of a breather. And now he's back in. Now this is your classic ye yellow jackets. You have a long drive. You know, it's been 46 yards. They grind you out. This is the ninth play as Ashman falls forward for three. And the Jackets eating up the clock here at the beginning of the, uh, near the end of the first half. About halfway through the second quarter. Rossack steps out to get uh, So a big play, third and five. And they have trips left. Look for the little bubble pass. There it is. Snivy is going to run with it. He tried to cut inside, but he's brought down short of the first down. A pickup of two on the play. It'll be fourth and short. That was Schnibby's second uh, reception. They've run that bevel pass to him twice. Uh, Screlly a pass on the waggle. Under pressure, fires it. And it's incomplete. He got crushed as he threw the ball. So it was a wayward pass. And Haldane takes over at their own 25.
So Hal Dane looking to do some damage. They run it. It's Griffin. Breaks the tackle. He's got some room now. Fitzgerald on the pursuit. He gets by Fitzgerald. And Fitzgerald pulls him out of bounds. Fitzgerald held his hand and threw him out of bounds. After a pickup of 25, there's a flag on the play. Now's number 24, the junior, Dylan Griffin. There was a flag on the play. The refs are discussing what it was. And now the flag is now waved off. It was inadvertently thrown first down for the Blue Devils at midfield. You really could not have asked for a more exciting game. And it's been a game of execution. Both teams have done an outstanding job executing. No turnovers as of yet. They did have the turnover on downs, but no fumbles or interceptions. Hackett split out to the right. Anderson. It's a mini reverse. Number 22, he's got a lot of room running right. Screlly on the pursuit, makes a move, and he's brought down after a pickup of 25 again. That was Matt Steltz. So Steltz gets his first carry of the game. It goes for 25 yards. And the Hal Dane Blue Devils are fired up. So after a tough uh, drive last time, they come out two plays, 50 yards. Anderson set, runs it left, cuts back. He's got a huge hole. And Dylan brought down after a pickup of 15, all the way down to the 10 yard line. That was Dylan Griffin on the carry. And he'll be first and goal from the 10. Right now, three plays and the Blue Devils look unstoppable. The Yellow Jacket defense is almost collapsing. Man in motion. Anderson hands it off. 34 cuts it back inside. Touchdown, Blue Devils. That was Luis Guzman on the carry. So Guzman's sixth carry of the day goes for 10 yards, a touchdown. And the Blue Devils take the lead 12-7. They'll try to put in the two points for the extra, uh, for the conversion. Hal Dane is stuck to the ground all day. They have not gone to the air that much. And so far it's working. They have the lead. And the fires it to the right. Pass is complete. And they go in for the two-point conversion. So Anderson started rolling out left. Fired it back across the field. Completes to uh, Dylan Griffin, and it's Devils get the two-point conversion. They're up by a touchdown and an extra point. That was Dylan Griffin's first catch of the day. And the Blue Devils have thrown four passes, and they've hit four different receivers. 
They're definitely mixing it up here. To return the kick, as always, uh, it is Chris Shkreli. And now in there for Brian Schnibby returning is going to be Paul Titus. Paul Titus, an extremely explosive runner. He or Chris Shkreli could break this if they get the right blocking on the middle wedge. And here we go. It's a low line drive. It's going to be Titus on the return. He gets by him. And Titus now picks you up. He's going to run himself. Breaks the tackle. Tries to reverse his field position. And is stopped at his own 10 yard line. So it's a line drive that bounced right before Titus. Took a bad bounce. Got by him. But there's nothing he could do. Jackets will start off at their own 15-yard line here with the round four minutes remaining in the first half. Shkreli hands it off to Sean Ashman. He runs forward for a few yards. This is the Jackets' fourth possession of the game. And it's going to be a tough one to put any points on the board. They've got nine, uh, 85 yards to go. Ashman falls forward for a pickup of a few. Got around three on the play. And it's going to be third and two to go. Zach Barnett split out to the right. In the backfield, they go with Rossack and Ashman. Ashman gets the call. And the first down. A nice hard run by Sean Ashman. A pickup of six on the play. Sean Ashman now has 13 carries for 64 yards. He's averaging just over four yards a carry. And Scully takes it himself, has a hole. He followed Ashman, and he picks up uh, five on the play. The Jackets doing an excellent job moving the football here, but the clock is doing its job by winding down. They're just short of their own 35. Shkreli back to pass, fires it long for Barnett, and he can't make the catch. He was open. Uh, Shkreli just didn't get enough air under it. But v Coach Vaccaro tried to go long. Thank you. 